Pam St. Clement was shocked when she learned Dame Barbara Windsor had revealed she is suffering Alzheimer's disease. Barbara Windsor's husband gave a candid interview on 9 May revealing his wife's four-year battle with the disease. Pam, a close friend of Barbara's, who played Pat Butcher alongside Barbara's Peggy Mitchell in EastEnders for many years, revealed that she had not been expecting Scott's announcement about his wife's health. Speaking on Loose Women, she said, My thoughts are with both of them. I haven't seen Barbara for a few months. This came as a shock, but it came as a welcome one. She done exactly the right thing by going public. Barbara, who left EastEnders in 2016 first noticed something was wrong with her memory when she began to struggle to learn her lines. Pam, 75, said, Barbara, like myself, has always had to work hard to learn her lines anyway. Maybe it happened like it happens to many of us, Scott, who has been married to the actress for 18 years, admitted she feels a kind of shame about the diagnosis. He added, I hope speaking out will help other families dealing with loved ones who have this cruel disease. Secondly, I want the public to know because they are naturally very drawn to Barbara and she loves talking to them. So rather than me living in fear she might get confused or upset, they'll know that if her behavior seems strange, it's due to Alzheimer's and accept it for what it is. Her good friend Jane Moore, who wrote the article revealing her battle, said that Scott had chosen to come forward to give Barbara the freedom to leave home. It was a release for him, Jane said. But he felt so guilty because they'd become housebound. Whenever they went out, she was really worried he'd do something to put it out there. He rang me up last week and said, I can't protect her anymore, and I want to be in control of it. Alzheimer's disease is a chronic neurodegenerative disease that is the cause of the majority of dementia cases. The disease begins slowly at the start, with the patient suffering from short-term memory loss and as the disease advances, symptoms can include problems with language, disorientation, mood swings, loss of motivation and behavioral issues. There is no cure for Alzheimer's and there is little knowledge about what actually causes or contributes to getting the disease. 1.9 million people died in 2015 due to dementia. Disease is named after Alois Alzheimer, the German psychiatrist and pathologist who first described the disease in 1906. What is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is the most common type of dementia which is an umbrella term used to describe progressive neurological disorders. Disease is caused by plaques and tangles that form within neuron cells and outside of the neurons which damage them and cause them to die. Electronic impulses in the brain can no longer be transferred along a line of neurons if some of them are dead. The hippocampus is a tiny tissue within the brain that is responsible for memory and this is the first area that is heavily affected when someone is suffering from Alzheimer's. This is why one of the first symptoms is short-term memory loss which can be mistaken for normal effects of aging. Long-term memories may stay intact as they are less associated with the hippocampus and more with other parts of the brain. So people suffering from Alzheimer's may still possess memories and knowledge about things that happened a long time ago and may not be able to remember what they have just said. Over time the patient's brain will shrink due to the effects of the disease and their symptoms will become more pronounced and more serious. There were 29.8 million people worldwide with Alzheimer's in 2015. The disease most commonly affects people over 65, although 4-5% of cases are early onset Alzheimer's which appears in younger people. For more on the symptoms, causes and treatments, click here.
More, Ross Kemp, very proud of Barbara Windsor for going public with Alzheimer's diagnosis more. Dame Barbara Windsor's husband Scott Mitchell decided just last week to reveal her Alzheimer's diagnosis.